Hey guys, I just wanted to show you really quickly her little uh, quarantine setup. She's been here for about 24 hours now. Um, I went ahead and put some of these paper up so she could feel a little more secure once we actually got her in the cage. Uh, at first I put her in a small bin with some uh, water, just lukewarm water, about a quarter of an inch to half an inch to let her hydrate a little bit, let her warm up while I uh, did some last minute adjustments on this. But this is where she is now. This is just a 10 gallon aquarium. I've got a ceramic heat emitter up there. I've got um, also a heat pad underneath. One thing that I discovered um, living in Minnesota where it can be very, uh, the temperatures can fluctuate so greatly is that using a bin enclosure outside of a snake room or a room that's more temperature controlled just really wasn't effective, which is unfortunate because I love bin enclosures. I use them for a lot of my geckos, um, but this was just not going to work. I tried it, um, I set it all up, and I could not get the heat to be where it needed to be at all. So I went with a 10 gallon aquarium, which I already had. And I put a ceramic, or the ceramic heat emitter right now. Um, it's a little bit high. It's going to go down because it's warming up from this morning. But it will, um, I have it set at about 82. And then the heat pad is set at about 90, which will keep this side of the cage. It keeps it at about 82 um, to 90. That one right there that says 88, that's underneath her hide. So the underneath the hide is going to be her warm spot or directly on top of the hide will be her warmest spot. The rest of the cage stays at about between 84 and 82. And then all the way over here, down here, you can see that it says 77, um, which ideally I'd like 78, but that's the cool side. It stays at about 77. That is what has worked for me. I've had this little uh, experiment going for probably about the last week, week and a half to make sure my temperatures were good before um, she came. So, and it's very simple. This is just a quarantine. It, it is a little bit bleak because I didn't want a lot of stuff in there right away. I'm gonna just peel this off. I'll just peel this off for now. Here she is, curled up. Sorry about the reflection, guys. So she's got her cool hide here on the cool side. She's got her warm hide here on the warm side. Um, I had all these cords really nicely like put up um, on the side of the cage here. And she just ripped them down immediately, which was um, adorable. I'm not going to lie. So we're at about seven, or excuse me, 65 percent humidity which is good I will spray the cage a little bit the ceramic heat emitters do suck a lot of the um, humidity out of the tank which can be annoying especially in the winter here my ultimate plan is to um, have her in the 20 long or the 29 gallon long in which case I'll have a little bit more room to add more stuff that will keep the humidity down or the community level where it needs to be Right now, I just pretty much spray the cage about three times a day. Uh, it has been fine. It hasn't gotten really low to a point where I was really concerned. So, oh, neighbor dog's barking. I did originally, I will say that, and everybody tells me that the light is better. Like the, the bulb versus the ceramic heat emitter is better. People always say, you know, go with the bulb. I did originally have a bulb on there and I still have it. And the problem with the bulb is that it kept flashing on and off like multiple times throughout the day, probably like 50 times a day. And I was really concerned that that flashing on and off was going to disturb the snake. I don't know if it does or not. It sure as hell disturbed me. It was very annoying. So I went with a ceramic heat emitter and tested it out and things have been fine. In the long run with the bigger tank, when she grows into it, I think I will definitely do a ceramic heat emitter on one side. Um, just to keep that midline temp because in the winter here my house will get my house gets can get 65 in the winter which is just way too cold uh, for these guys so I'll probably have a ceramic heat emitter that keeps the temperature at about that 75 mark on the coolest side and then have a heat lamp on the other side along with the heat on the bottom 
just to make sure that I have a proper temperature gradient. But this is it for right now. In the long run, when she gets old enough, uh, when she gets big enough, which probably won't be for a couple years now, but we'll definitely get her an animal plastics, nice PVC enclosure. Uh, maybe if I can find one that's smaller for cheaper, I'll get that too earlier. But right now, this is this is her. She's over there hanging out. And uh, yeah, she's doing really good. I'm pretty obsessed with her. I keep checking on her like multiple times a day, which I know she probably isn't appreciating, but I'm trying to be as stealthy and quiet as possible. Um, and she keeps moving her, that temperature thing. I'll eventually take that out once I'm confident that these little ones are actually accurate because I'm not confident that they're super accurate, which is why I have all these different temperature gauges in the tank, but I will eventually take that out. But every time I come in here, she switches it from Celsius to, or from Fahrenheit to Celsius. She's crashing into it and changing it, so. But that is her. She's here. She's happy. Um, well, I don't know about happy, but she's adjusting well. And I'm going to go ahead and put these back up and let her... Let her get a little rest. And thank you guys for watching. Um, I should preface also and tell you guys that I'm not an expert on these guys. I'm not an expert on you know anything, I don't think, when it comes to reptiles. I'm always learning. Um, I'm definitely a hobbyist. So if you are looking for information on how to house geckos and boas which is what I which is what I house you can certainly um, ask any questions however I will encourage you to go out and find more information on your own um, you know I always have been told that it's best to get three hear something from three different sources before you actually do it so this is what's working for me things are going well so far I mean it's been 24 hours but I'm confident that things will be doing well since I've been kind of playing with this whole setup for about you know 10 days to a week now making sure everything works all right i'm heading out we'll give you guys an update later and i will probably do a video on her new setup when i when she gets out of her quarantine we'll move her into uh the reptile room or the rep the reptile living room which is the living room <laughs> and um we'll get her all set up in a nice little more naturalistic type look then all right i hope everybody has a good day bye